iOS 9 is coming soon. And maybe by the time that you're watching this, it's already out and you're thinking about updating. So let's go over some of the basic things that you can do to get ready to update to iOS 9. First off, iOS 9 is going to be available for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Here's a list of all the compatible devices that iOS 9 will work with. First things first is you're going to need to make a backup. Well, actually, the first thing we should talk about is should you even update? I'll make an iOS 9 overview video that will go over all the new features and I'll put a link in the description and in the video so subscribe to keep up to date. But for now I'm going to assume that you're ready to take the plunge. So first things first you're going to need to have a backup. Making a backup is very important uh, for many reasons and it's really simple. There's two methods you can choose from. I'm going to go over each and I'm going to let you decide what's the best for you. So the two methods are iCloud and iTunes. If you use iCloud it's going to store your backup in the cloud. You can get up to a terabyte worth of storage, but only your first five gigs are going to be free. It's going to always encrypt your backups, and it's going to let you make use of the backups from anywhere as long as you have Wi-Fi connectivity. The other option is using iTunes. This is going to store your backup on your Mac or PC, and storage is going to depend on your Mac or PC's available space. Uh, it offers the ability to encrypt your backup, even though it's off by default, and it's going to let you make and use backups from your Mac or PC. Let's jump into using iCloud for your backup. You don't need to plug your device into a computer or be at home. As long as you have a Wi-Fi network connection, you can make a backup of your device using iCloud. Go ahead and click on Settings and go down to General. We're going to take a peek and see how much storage we have. One nice thing about iOS 9 is it's only a 1.3 gig update compared to the 4.6 gig update of iOS 8. Go down to Usage and let's take a look at how much space we have. I have almost 3 gigs, which is plenty, but let's say you wanted to clear some of that storage. Go ahead and click on Manage Storage, and it's going to list all the applications and the amount of space that they take up. Let's say I want to delete this game, so click on it and choose Delete App, and Delete App one more time. It might take a second, but once it refreshes, it will show you the space that you got back from deleting the application. Now if you have a bunch of space being taken up by messages, I've made another video and you can head over to my channel to check that out. But if you click on it, you should notice that you can't manage it from here. Go back a screen by clicking on usage and scroll down to the iCloud section. Here you're going to see your total storage, your available storage, and the ability to manage storage. So click on manage storage and you can manage the storage by clicking each section. For example, click on the photos. You can delete and disable if you wish. Now hit the back button and let's look at the documents and data area. Now I don't even really know what this stuff is so I'm going to go ahead and click edit and delete all three of these to free up space. If you haven't enabled iCloud backup I'm going to walk you through that quickly. Go ahead and click back on general and then go back on settings, choose iCloud and scroll down to the bottom where you see backup and change that to on. Click OK and wait for the backup to turn on. Once it does, it gives you the option to backup now, which I suggest you do if you haven't. I don't want to bore you, so I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Once your backup completes, you should be good to go. So now let's go over and check out the other method, which is backing up through iTunes. So next, open up iTunes and connect your device to the computer. Next, you're going to want to save the content that you've downloaded from iTunes Store or from the App Store. And you'll do this by going to File, Devices, and choose transfer purchases from your phone. If you're backing up via this method, this process could take a minute, so sit tight while it finishes. Now that all your purchases have been transferred, let's back up the device. Click on your device icon, and here it will show you your device information. In the middle section, you'll see backups. You can select this computer, and you can also choose to encrypt your iPhone backup. When you're ready, you can choose backup now, or you can also do this by going to file, devices and choose backup. Now the backup process begins and just wait to let it finish. Once it does finish you'll see the status under latest backup change or you can also go check out by going to iTunes preferences and then hit devices and then you'll see the last backup right there. Lastly make sure that you know your important passwords and your account login information because when you set up touch ID you just rarely use the actual passcode but you're going to need it to upgrade to iOS 9. But that's it. It's pretty easy and straightforward. You should be able to be in the clear now. You should be able to have a good backup in case that you actually have to revert back to iOS 8 for whatever reason. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for videos, leave them down below. And as always, thank you for watching.